sweating already. Okay, so we're back here in Belize. Uh, this time we're in Placencia. We're gonna be spending most of our trip here in Placencia and then two days in San Pedro. Uh, we arrived here a little bit before six o'clock. Um, it is December, so it gets dark early. So after we landed, we just went and picked up our rental at Hertz, grabbed something to eat on the side of the road, and then headed into Placencia. We did take the uh, coastal plain highway, which is which was just renovated, so it's completely paved now from the Western Highway to the Hummingbird Highway. Um, there are no lights on the highway, so it is pretty. It was pretty dark. It did take us two hours and thirty minutes to get here. Um, of course, since we got here late at night, I didn't do a recording of the Airbnb, so we'll go ahead and do a walkthrough. All right, so this is a shot of the Airbnb from the outside. That's us right there. Okay, so this is our view from our Airbnb. We'll turn around, this is the main entry into the house and the living room and kitchen. And down the hallway, passing the kitchen. This is a one bedroom with a queen bed. And plenty of closet space. And the bathroom with the walk in shower. Okay, so today's plans um, we didn't really have anything set, but we, it looks like we are going to be heading over to the uh, Jaguar Reserve and do a hike to a waterfall. So that's where we're heading to now. Okay, before we head over to the uh, Jaguar Preserve, we're actually going to grab something to eat off of the Placencia sidewalk. Oh, the community that we're staying at is called the Hibiscus Beach Belize Vacation Retreat. There's a little pathway down to our Airbnb and the Placencia sidewalk in front of us. I got a little lost, walked down towards the beach and we actually passed it right here, the Biscus Cafe. Yeah, that was in, that was the best mm -hmm. direction. All right, so we had ordered the uh, fried jack breakfast, fried jacks, beans and rice, and a pineapple juice. Okay, so I ordered a stuffed chicken fried jack and a watermelon juice. So we just finished breakfast and we're heading back to our Airbnb to pick up our packs of water and head over to the Jaguar Reserve.
Okay, so second attempt to a waterfall. We're at My World Destinations. There is a $10 entrance fee. It is a dirt road, but the guy at the entrance where we're buying our tickets said that this vehicle would be okay to get there. So we'll get to see a waterfall after all. Oh, we got a seatbelt. All right, got our wristbands and heading over to the waterfall. Just made it to the waterfall. Here's the parking lot. And the waterfall is a two minute walk from here. Mm -hmm. And that waterfall? Mm -hmm. I thought it was going to be a big waterfall. Do you want to keep walking and see? Mm -hmm. Here, water is nice and clear. Woo! That's icy. Look, they even have stairs for you to walk into the water. I'm gonna dip down. <laughs> oh, I can touch the ground right here. Huh? I said, oh, I can touch the ground right here. <laughs> oh, that's cold. Feels good once you have to anything. I'm gonna go up those stairs in a little bit. Looks creepy, but we're still gonna go up there. And there are restrooms. If you keep walking past the uh, stairs down to the little swimming pool areas. And this just looks like a pavilion where you can just sit down. Oh, there's more waterfall. Which way to there? There's stairs both ways. Now there's the waterfall. All right, so we're continuing up the path and to these uh, stairs. Someone told us there's a bigger waterfall to see up here. Oh yeah, now that's the waterfall. Swimming with one hand is not the greatest. Not easy. Okay, so that was the last of the waterfalls, and now I'm gonna go up those stairs that we passed earlier. See where they lead to. Leon says that it wraps around and takes you to the waterfall as well. I think it leads to a cave. I think that means it's closed off, but I'm only going to right here. Yeah, partial, partial cave, not a full cave, but I guess it's more of a nice view of the pavilion, I guess. I don't know, maybe they used to lead to something. All right, heading back to the car. So we just made it back to the Airbnb. Probably go grab something to eat. Um, it's already going to be 4. It said it gets dark here now um, around 5.30 or 6 o'clock. So I don't think we have any plans to do anything else other than just like I said, grabbing something to eat. So that's it for today and we'll see what we'll get into, get into tomorrow. Wait, no, I actually do want to show what I'm going to grab to eat because I've been looking forward to eating some conch ceviche. So I will record um, the place that we're going to go grab something to eat at. All right, so we're on our way to go get some food now. Gonna eat at the cozy corner and get some Coke ceviche. All right, so we've made it to cozy corner. I think this is it. Okay, so I got my Coke ceviche. Leon ordered shrimp. And since we're the only ones in the restaurant, we got them to put the 49er game on TV. So 
So we just finished with dinner and instead of taking the uh, sensitive sidewalk home, we are walking on the beach. We're not too far. I'm actually going to try to hurry up and get back and watch the fourth quarter of the game before it's over. All right, so that's going to be it for tonight. And again, like I said, we'll figure out what we're going to get into tomorrow because we really don't have any plans or itinerary for this trip. So pick this up again tomorrow. All right, so we're heading out. We're doing our own DIY food tour and at the same time exploring uh, the Placencia sidewalk and the Placencia area. Um, it is a little overcast today, so it's not as humid as yesterday. So we're taking the opportunity to do uh, this food tour since we are going to be walking around. So far it's been very quiet and peaceful here. Thinking we might be here in the off season or it might be like this all the time, but it's nice. Not only is it overcast, I have this little breeze. Feels pretty good. All right, we are right at Carmen's Kitchen, a first stop on our DIY tour. We're gonna be trying the carachanas and salabutas. Garnachas. 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 From what I've seen, they look like a tostadas. And this is our food, the two garachanas and the salabutas. Uh, the salabutas have chicken and the garachanas are just beans and there's no meat on those. Okay, so we're now coming up on our second stop on our little uh, DIY food tour, which is Omar's restaurant. Hello. Hi. Hi. We're not quite open, open yet? yet. Okay. We're open in the next 30 minutes. Okay, Omar's restaurant wasn't quite ready yet, so we're heading into our next stop and then we'll come back to said about 30 minutes. All right, so our third spot is Brute Awakenings. We're just gonna grab a quick seaweed milkshake here and then walk back to the uh, Omar's restaurant. All right, so Leon got the uh, sugar cookie. I ordered the seaweed sunrise, and it's mine right there, and the sugar cookie. All right, and we are back at Omar's. Okay, so we ordered fish tacos. We both ordered our own plate and then a uh, side order or appetizers of conch fritters. All right, so we just got back to the Airbnb where we just came in there just to make a quick little drink and we're gonna go and relax on the beach for a while. So it's a few hours later, we ended up taking a nap on the beach. Um, right now we're just gonna walk on the Placencia sidewalk. We're gonna head over to the beach club because the Airbnb doesn't include passes. So we're just actually walking over there to walk out for food. We're still pretty full from um, our little food tour earlier, but we do have plans to maybe do the beach club tomorrow. Hopefully the sun is out and the weather is better than it was today. But for today, it was actually perfect since we we're walking around, but to be on the beach, I am hoping for a sunny, clear sky day. So far we've been walking the sidewalk towards that way and right now we are heading in the opposite direction. The sidewalk just got skinnier. Coconut fell right now almost killed Leon. Another thing to watch out for when you're walking at night or around palm trees. On this side of the uh, sidewalk, we're noticing there's just more either ha um, houses and more vacation rentals. Not really any businesses over here. Okay, we've made it. Pretty dark, but this will make for great pictures tomorrow. But yeah, so they have pool. It has a pool, a bar, and lounge chairs, and then they provide towels. And normally I believe it's 
five Belizean dollars per person. But yeah, we'll get a better shot of this tomorrow. And I know you probably can't see me, but um, pretty much this is gonna be it for tonight. So we'll pick this up again tomorrow. Okay, so we actually did one more stop before calling it a night. We picked up some barbecue. It was a four meat combo. Um, it was actually one meal, we're splitting it, but it came with four meats, uh, I think tri-tip, barbecue chicken, brisket, and actually let me see three meats. Told me it was four, but now that I'm looking at it. But anyways, we're gonna go ahead and eat and this will now be it for tonight. So we woke up to a rainy morning today so we're obviously not going to be doing the beach club. We're going to go grab something to eat and we're going to drive into the town of Hopkins instead today just to explore the little town. Alright so we're going to grab something to eat at Wendy's Creole Restaurant and Bar. Leon and I both ordered the same thing. It's the uh, rice and beans with stewed chicken and a papaya juice. Alright we've made it to Hopkins. It's still a little rain, more of a drizzle. but. We'll make do. Actually, so our first stop here in Hopkins is this gift shop. Okay, so we finished our souvenir shopping and now we're heading back into Hopkins. It wasn't raining like this when we first got here, so it seems like the rain followed us from Placentia. Um, we're going to try to maybe wait out the rain a little bit to see if we can walk around, but if it keeps up like this, uh, we might not. So it doesn't look like the rain's letting up any, and there was a few places I wanted to grab something to eat, but again, we ate too big of a breakfast and we're not hungry. So we're pretty much just going to head back to Placentia. So, oh, it's still raining. Okay, one more stop before heading back to the Airbnb. We're stopping at the Big Titty Rum Bar. It was one of the stops on my DIY food tour, but it was closed yesterday, so we're doing it today. Okay. That's okay. Thank you. Okay, wrong bar. The one that I'm actually looking for is straight ahead. But that one, it had this sign that said Big Titty Room, but that is actually a brand of rum that they sell here. So that's probably what they were advertising. <laughs> there we go. Big, big titty rum bar. This is it. All right, so we are trying the, I believe, Island Spice, Carbonero, the Nut Liquor, and the uh, Fat Pussy. And the rain's starting to come down again. Yeah. All right, here's our flight. Oh, that's the uh, Habanero, the Island Spice, the uh, Fat Pussy, and the Nut Liquor. All right, we're finally back home and it's still coming down. All right, so this is a haul of our souvenir gifts that we bought. This I actually bought the other day, my little backpack that I needed because I didn't bring a small one, but these items from here over are the ones that we got in Hopkins. So that's pretty much gonna be it for today. Um, tomorrow the weather, the Tomorrow the weather is supposed to be a little better. It's supposed to be like the, like it was yesterday where it was just overcast, no rain. So uh, most likely we'll probably end up doing the beach club. Um, I, was say, I was gonna say if not, then we'll see. But yeah, I'm pretty sure that's where we're gonna end up tomorrow. So we'll pick this up again tomorrow. So today's our last day here in Placencia. We woke up to another gloomy morning. Um, earlier the blue skies were coming out and the sun was poking out, but now it's starting to drizzle. We're gonna go grab something to eat and then we'll head over to the beach club. All right, we've made it to the thatch. Back to the Airbnb to pick up the bag that has the towels and the stuff for the beach club. I just realized I forgot to film what we ordered. I ordered the uh, stewed pork, which was almost like yesterday, except for yesterday was stewed chicken, this time it was pork, and Leon ordered a BLT sandwich. That's pretty good. The drizzle actually turned into a rain as we're heading back to Airbnb to pick up our beach bag. So we're gonna wait it out, see if it stops before we head over to the beach club. I'm looking up to take a shot of the sky to show that it's still kind of cloudy and look, all those dragonflies up there. 
It was crazy. Towards that way, I can start to see blue skies. Anyways, so we're, anyways, so we're gonna um, start heading over to the beach club. Ooh, I see more blue skies. And we're actually heading that way for the beach club. Watch out, this is where the coconut fell yesterday. All right, so we've made it to the beach club. We've uh, just checked in in there. Normally it's, I believe, five Belizean dollars, but like I said, we have passes because of our Airbnb stay. So there's lounge chairs that you can take out onto the beach, and then there's a pool and a bar. Right. I should have worn my, uh, <laughs> my uh, water shoes, the seaweed. Don't like the way that feels. Go to the sandy part. <laughs> yo, 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 yo. Okay, that's better. See the sun poking through the clouds over there. We just got back to the Airbnb like five minutes ago and we were gonna go out to the uh, beach. We're gonna grab the beach chairs that the Airbnb provides to just lounge out on the beach here, but it started raining. So we're just gonna actually sit down in our porch area. Right, but we'll just sit here and enjoy the rest of our evening. But we made it back to the Airbnb before we got caught in the rain from the uh, beach club. So at least we got that. Okay, so I'm in today right here. We've been on this porch. Uh, relaxing and just enjoying the vibe for like the past two hours we're gonna go grab something to eat and like I said today is our last day in Placencia tomorrow we head off to San Pedro so we'll pick this up again tomorrow okay, we're all packed up and we're gonna be leaving our Airbnb here in Placencia thought I was gonna be able to see the sunrise but it's hidden behind all the clouds